All right. We should be live in a second. Okay, we're live. We're live. We're live. Okay. Um, scene switch to live. Yo, chat. Okay. Um, you want to give something to mine too? Bits. Yummy. Tip it's for you. Tip it's Thank you. That one's yours. Thank one's you. Yours. Here you go. This is so nice. Chat, we were just talking about these as bait pouches because it's an ammo belt pouch. Yeah. But I use cloth ones and they get really gross because it's meat. But these ones are really easy. So yeah. I need to get one of these. Yeah. And they don't get stinky. And they you don't get stinky. One. You can take it home with you. Really? Do you have? We have so many of them. Really? They're yep. like the a couple bucks on okay. Amazon. Yeah. No. Thanks. Yeah. Yay! Um, There's your nice dirty bait pouch. Yay! Just for you. <laughs> I can take it on the plane with quail in it. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave a little piece of meat so that the dogs can sniff it out. Yeah. And then they'll check your bag anyway. Nice. Aside yeah. from all your wires. <laughs> I know, chat. Bringing a backpack, an IRL backpack through uh, security is terrifying. Okay, um, people are still... I don't know how many people are here because this thing is still broke. But um, we're here with Sammy and Anita, Sammy's mom, um, who run the falconry experience. And we're going to fly some birds today. We have, what is it, three? Four? Four. Four birds. Um, you guys can tell. You want to? Oh, also, say, before, we, before we start, your tips today. If you want to tip Sammy and Anita or the falconry experience, um, their PayPal's hooked up. So that's, that's where donos are going. Um, would be very appreciated. Cool. Okay, what were you saying? I was gonna say we can start with a little, a little brom. Yeah. And then, uh, and then Looks like they keep them in PC cases. They do kind of look like PC cases. These are travel carriers. Yeah. So they're super lightweight. It's basically what you make um, like political signs out of, or like home for sale mm -hmm. signs and stuff. So it's super lightweight. They have ventilation and all sorts of stuff, and they're white on the outside and black yeah. on the inside, so that it keeps it cool. It typically would tell us the temperature right here, but it's off right now. So. Sweet. So oh, and yeah, you can do Command T F E to get to their website. Yeah. Bird. Oh. Tell me that's not the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh, so she's like sleeping. Wait, so this is Amber. This is Her Amber. name is Amber. Amber. Oh, so. She's no, completely no, blind in this eye. And then this eye is mostly blind. She has retinal detached. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's asleep. She's like, it's the middle of the day, peeps. Chat, this is a screech owl. Look at her blue dresses. How cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because we believe in fancy. Uh, anklets, sorry. And, well, and dresses. They're matching. She matches. I just love these little ear tips. The little feather tufts on her head. Yeah, so she's a little screech owl. She came to us from um, a rescue center with her, her now boyfriend. Um, boyfriend. She was, came out of the wild um, and somebody found her because she wasn't able to hunt or fly or anything. Well, she can fly. She just can't really hunt because she's She can fly but she doesn't know where she's going. Yeah, she's completely blind in this eye and she's almost completely blind in this eye. Or maybe that's mm -hmm. backwards. I don't know. No, you're right. But it's so cute because her little boyfriend, because she can't find the food, he takes it and then he puts it on her feet so that she knows where it is. He's Chat, so there's nice your standards. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, Goose, the falcon, mm -hmm. bows to you. He goes <laughs> to court you, and I'm like, whenever I find a man that bows to me, I'll that's, keep him. That's the one. He's the he's the only man that bows <laughs> find to me. Find a man though. that'll bow to you and put dead mice at your feet. Mm. <laughs> So nice when you lose your vision. I prefer pizza. But... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Perfect. So this is uh, western western screech owl. West, western screech owl. Are the easterns the smaller ones? Yeah. Eastern screech owls are smaller, but they're found. Ooh. So what she actually <laughs> just to note what she did right there, chat, when she's like bobbing her head around like that, it's so that they can get um, spatial focus. How do you you explain like that? Like perspective, better? like. They, they try to see where things are in conjunction with the things behind them so that they know where they are because their eyes don't work like our eyes. Mm. They don't flex and contract. So instead they have to do this. They don't have muscles on their eyes. So they do a lot of moving their head around to see where things are. What are you looking at out there? It just amazes me that the uh, extent of the camouflage. Like she just looks like tree bark. She does. I've been in forests where I hear 
like at least 10 screech owls and you don't see a single one. Mm -hmm. And I sit there with my spotlight trying to find <laughs> them. And every, people that tell me that they've seen a screech owl in the wild, I'm like, Thank I'm so you. jealous. Thank you for not putting I it haven't, on me. No, actually. Where are you going? You yeah. have? I have not. See? I mean, I see them when I release them. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear them. What I think is the coolest with the owls is for perching, it's better to have three toes in front and one toe in back. Or two toes in front and two toes in back. So, like, perching birds have toes like that. But when you catch things, you want three toes in front and one toe in back. So owls have this toe that can go backwards or forwards. So when they perch, they sit like that. And when they catch food, they sit like that. Neat. So crazy. Them and osprey. I watched an osprey catching something at Bacara the other day. <gasps> oh or like gosh. diving into That's the water. So cool. It was so cool. We had a bald eagle out here the other day when we were doing an experience. Really? And with the, oh shoot yeah <laughs> yeah i know no. that's what we did we're, we're like, like that's so cool and then and everybody like we got out binoculars and everybody was looking at it through their cameras and everything and then we're like yeah and we can't fly anything until he goes away <laughs> we're like so we're just gonna we're gonna hang out and watch the bald eagle <laughs> that's cool though yeah it was that's really cool. cool um chat you guys know sammy probably sammy's been on my street i don't have you been on my stream uh -uh. okay sammy's been on my stream before um, I used to work at the zoo with Sammy for Sammy, and then Anita was my sponsor when I became a falconer in California. So, um, good to clarify that's... that when you became a falconer thing. So it doesn't yeah. sound like you were some sort of drug addict. Oh yeah, no. Uh, my falconer <laughs> sponsor. She's a master falconer. I was an apprentice falconer, um, so she taught me falconry in California, and now, <laughs> and now I'm I in Texas. Have even thought about it like that. I I wouldn't have either. I was like, wait, what do you mean? Um, I've been watching too many <laughs> intervention shows. <laughs> oh my and now God. they do now they do the falconry experience, which is what? What do you guys do? We get people close to birds of prey, get them to understand the role that they play in the environment, and then we um, get them close like falconers do. Like the flying and the being part of their world is like the most amazing thing to me. So we take them out, we introduce them to a bunch of different birds, talk about their natural history, and then we take a bird out flying in the vineyard um it's a beautiful place to fly so we get them give them a glove and they get to fly him and he flies back to their glove and he flies off again and the first time they catch him it's always like they go oh you're scared <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> it's hilarious and then um and then once they get it the first time they have a great time yeah then they become supernatural at it mm -hmm. but so basically people just get to become a, a falconer for a day and then after that when we're done we take them wine tasting <laughs> yeah chat look where we are by the so way we yeah we get to we fly yeah. them through the vineyard and then we take them in to taste the the fruits that they just flew through wonderful somebody asked why didn't the owl fly away oh she has a leash on just like you would have a leash on your dog when you're walking down the street and you don't want them bumping into cars and stuff we keep leashes on the birds that we don't want them to fly in places that we don't want them to fly or that could be dangerous for them. And since she's blind, she really doesn't know really where to fly she's away. going. <laughs> no, so, it would not end well for her. So, but bad. instead of putting a leash on the neck like you would with your dog, because that's your dog's strong point, we put it on their ankles, which is the strongest part of their body. It's actually right here, which is weird um, when you look at a bird's foot. But it's way down here, and it's the strongest part because that's what they use to, like, bash into their prey. So... Um, it works out great. There you go. Um, someone said sounds like a perfect day. Yes, it does. <laughs> um, if you guys want to know more about the Falconry Experience, you can do Command TFE. And if you would like to tip them for what they're doing today for stream, um, you can use my donate link. Okay. Want to do Ranger? Let's yeah. do it. Let's fly a bird. Uh, chat, my subs, my sub alerts are off today. Um, I do see them on my activity feed, but uh, donate alerts you? are on, so you, they'll be TTS. Ranger! I, know you haven't seen I him always forget how little he is. I know. <laughs> He's such a good boy, though. So you can get a close look at how we leash them up. So this is his federal identification band, and then he has a little leather anklet, and then he has these. These are actually called Jesses, um, and they go through, and then they have a little opening at the end that we attach a swivel and a leash to, but when they're flying, obviously, they don't have the leash on. Chat, does anyone know what kind of bird this is before Anita tells us? Because I feel like some people might. I haven't had them on my stream before, I don't think. But I don't think so. We have, we have talked about them before. The distinctive part is the reddish wing, the white stripe at the base of the tail, or the 
Not an eagle, not a pigeon, not a cooper's. Oh, Gwiff, Harris hawk. Yeah. Yeah, we Good do. Job. And they're the only social bird of prey in the U.S., which makes them great for flying with people that they don't know because they love to be in groups. So, the and he, he thinks fly. flying with people and flying around is the best thing ever. <laughs> it's actually also called a, a Harris's hawk. Um, because when Audubon was going out and, like, discovering all the animals, they all got named after whoever was with him. So right. this is Harris's Oh, hawk. oh. Possessive. I can never say it like that. And Cooper's hawk. And Swainson's. Cooper's Swainson's. Swainson's. Oh. I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of animals <laughs> are like that. It was like oh something that interesting. Frank Harris or something. Harris's yeah. hawk. Oh, yeah, I don't so like this that. Is, this Harris is hawk. Harris's, Harris's hawk. hawk. So you can see the three yeah. toes and the one toe. In the back. <laughs> Don't touch my toes. Don't touch my toes. <laughs> um, Rodney, thank you for the $5 tip. Crash and burn with the $20 tip. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Male hair socks are so small. Yeah, how much does he weigh? He flies at around 650 to 750 grams. I did feed you a lot yesterday, didn't I? You're not um, even flying off. Dang. I know. He's like, uh, I'm just content. That's okay. Um, most so male Harris hawks around 600 to 650. Yeah. Ranger likes to fly fat. He. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, my bird's like, well, I guess my bird's smaller. I was like 525. <laughs> he'll fly at literally anything. Oh my god. Like, okay. He, and he'll keep eating until the food is coming back out of his crop, <laughs> and then he's like, still no, I need more, and you're like, dude, you can't fit more. Chunky. That's in grams, Chad. That's not. Not pounds. Danza with the twenty-five dollar tip. Thank Grand you very much. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Okay, you wanna fly? Yay. Okay. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what we do is we just walk and then he follows us. Hawk walk. That's what we would do in the field to hunt with him. And I'm sure Maya's probably showed you that before. Yeah, well I've never had a hawk out i just lure fly my bird yeah it's just so cool so it is cool just hops around they'll go pull the pole and then um and then we usually go through the bushes and stuff and we'll flush out rabbits and things like that and when we see one we yell for him and he comes down to try and catch it god the grapes look pretty Ranger. And then he gets a little bit of food every time he comes back. Sam, do you want to tell them about abatement a little bit? Because you take Ranger, right? Yeah, so I take Ranger with me to do abatement. He's done a multitude of different jobs. Um, he's worked at in cities trying to keep pigeons away. He's worked at a um, resort called the Ritz-Carlton Baccara, um, keeping seagulls off of people's food at the pool. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. Yeah. Um, he's also worked at a compost plant where he keeps not just one or two seagulls like there is at the Bacara, but tens oh. of thousands. Thank you, rat. <laughs> he likes to buzz me when I haven't called him in. <laughs> um, keeping tens of thousands of seagulls off of the fresh food that comes in to be made into compost. Very cool. That's Sammy's job, chat She. Natural Nation pest control. I'll let you go with her. Thank you for the 25. Yay. That's hell. Hello, birdie. Wow. <laughs> He's such a good bird. Put your glove on. Okay. If you can, <laughs> you have everything <laughs> in the world to hold. Oh, oh. We'll wait till he goes back. Yeah, it's easier oh, than you taking it out you. of your own pouch. Where? Chat, time to catch a bird. What a good bird. My gosh. He's... Yummy. And they're eating quail, or he's eating quail. Or he could fly through mine. And yeah, that'd be him. cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me get my glove off so I didn't get on my glove. <laughs> so you just, think, yeah, and then you call him. And then I'll tell you, pull back. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. What a guy.
and you'll do this like all day. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. Let me do. Come here. You ready? It doesn't stick to my hand. Ranger. Oh, <laughs> just <missed>. barely. <laughs> Craig <laughs> donated $25. Good bird. Super duper. Thank you for the $25 tip. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. <laughs> <just got it. laughs> That's awesome. When we first started flying him out here, he had to learn how to navigate the wire. Yeah. And he would run into him all the time. We actually, at the zoo, used to have a peregrine falcon mm -hmm. that came to us from another falconer because they were flying it for abatement to keep the starlings off the grapes mm -hmm. and um it came down so fast it clipped the tip of its wing off on a wire no oh god and cut the entire wrist off that's horrible yeah hey you're a desert bird you shouldn't get hot yet it's like, like, like I'm, a baby. <laughs> like I'm covered in down people so basically falconry based bird abatement is anywhere there's a pest bird in an area so pigeons in a city seagulls on a transfer station or at a dock or at a school or at a hotel or whatever um it's just us using natural pest abatement with birds that are predators to scare those other birds out um right now it's vineyard season and it's harvest season so everybody all the falconers are out at vineyards protecting all the grapes so that you have wine so if you love your wine, you have to love your falconer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the number one most eaten grape is Pinot. They can devastate. Starlings can devastate Elmo an 800 acre dollars vineyard in like three. three hours. Thank you for the five. Um, could we do one where, could, could you be like in the middle with the hoop so they can see him fly through it from a little further away? Yeah. And I can, or will that work? Do you want me to pull through? Yeah. And then you'll film? Yeah, maybe. You just have that. to hold. Hold him on your glove until Sammy mm -hmm. calls him. Oh, so just hold his jesses. Hey, wait, everyone. We are all standing we're in all the same. Oh, oh no. Three. I have boots on. You guys are crazy. <laughs> it's a hassle. I don't wear boots anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Game Wheels 01 donated $5. Falconry Stream Park. Alright, you ready? Whoop! Oh. Isn't that crazy, chat? So cool. And when he does it, he throws his feet out in front of him. Yeah. Because he has to tuck his wings. He uses his um, tail wait, as a Mom, propeller. Let's try to do it one more time. Come over here. Mm hmm So you're gonna? No, no, no. You're gonna come. Everybody, come to me. Okay. <laughs> Everyone to me. I'm gonna send him off. Stand behind me and chat. Watch when he comes through the middle of my mom's arms, because you'll watch him shoot his feet out first. Wow, that was cool. That was a good shot. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Richard. We're uh, live streaming right now. We'll say hello to thousands of people. Hi, bird. Yeah, we're just out flying. Yeah. We'll be back in a We're going to go. we got to run. Okay. Awesome. That's the winery owner's best friend. Oh. He's here visiting from Alaska for harvest. They're nice. about to start harvesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. It's weird because this vineyard started earlier and is harvesting Whoop. earlier than everywhere else. Yeah. Yeah, look at all these grapes, Chet. Oh, you can see how, like, plump they are. Wow. Wine grapes. Wine grapes. And if you ever get like a stuffy nose mm -hmm. from wine grapes, it's because the large farms commercially harvest. Yeah. They mechanically harvest and they're picking up wasps so cool. at the same time because the wasps will eat the grapes. What? Yeah. And so you're getting wasp juice in your you're getting... wine and you're having an allergic reaction to the wasps. To the venom. Ew. Yeah. 
Ew. That I crazy? hate that. I don't like that at all. That's why you go to these small little vineyards that manually harvest. Yeah. Because not only do you not get the grappy grapes, you, you get all the good grapes. Oh, you guys. All right. If you guys look inside his mouth, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Hold on, let me start panting a little bit again. So they pant like a dog because they can't sweat. But if you look inside his mouth, you can see... Come on, hold your head <laughs> in one spot. <laughs> in one spot. You can kind of see his trachea on his tongue. Yeah. So that hole on the top of his tongue is his trachea. So if he's swallowing something that's super big or super long like a snake or something, mm -hmm. he can stick his tongue outside of his mouth and still be able to breathe. Chaz, like noodle. That, that carpet python. Yeah. Oh, exactly. It's so creepy. His name is Noodle. Yeah. I love it. They named her. <laughs> Danger Noodle. Yeah. Oh, wow. Camera. <laughs> oh. oh. <gasps> no. That is not for you. <laughs> My wind muff. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's Beep. fuzzy. <laughs> Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> that was I was like, why is he going after the I know, the I was like, what is he see his reflection or something? That but it was is this... not for you. It's not Chat, I'm putting it in my pocket. It's not windy, but complain later if it's bad and I'll try to put it back on. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Noted. When I first saw it, I'm like, oh she has a feather on her hair. Oh no that <laughs> <laughs> oh, It's man. for audio, but it should be all fine. Right. It's not windy at all. Yeah. Head back. He's hot. Sweet. So you show, show his crop, how full it is. Oh yeah, okay, so here's his crop. Oh my gosh! Yeah, he's a little chunk. It's That's so cool to keep eating. And he's still so, like, ready. No, no, like, he's still so motivated. Yo, they got merch. Do you guys have merch? Not yet. Not, Not yet. 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 <laughs> Thank you for the 10, though. Yeah, um, thank you. Yeah, reminder, if you want to tip Sammy and Anita for showing us their birds, you can... You can follow us on TikTok, too, and then Ooh, you can yeah. see all the really cool videos, because we do slow-mos of him going through people. Actually, that'd be sick. Yeah, it's you should at the Falconry Life. The Falconry Life. Yeah. Mods, you should link one of their TikToks. Oh, they have some really good Falconry ones. Life. Or you can or look up Falconry the Falconry life. experience. Yeah. It's cool seeing his feet go through in slow motion. It's super. It's super rad. Yeah. And we the, we get amazed by it every time, and we do it every day. And the first time I posted one of the videos, it went viral, and the next day. Uh -huh. The people were like, um, our housekeeper from Madagascar just told us about the video. Like, they literally oh my were gosh. from Madagascar, and their housekeeper that was taking care of their house in Madagascar saw the video, and we were like, that's crazy. It's crazy to me how far we're like... The TikTok internet's a crazy place, but TikTok crazy. is like another level. Yeah, I know. It's, it's bizarre. Insane. It's great for me, because I have like zero attention span. Oh, and on Reddit, that's right. Oh, are we on Reddit? Didn't, I th yeah, yeah we you guys went viral on Reddit, on Reddit once. Times. Well, there you go. There She's you so go. Funny. All right, who's next? Dun, 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 Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful bird chat. Show them how pretty you are. This is like the most gorgeous hawk ever. Actually, insane. There's feathers. So cool. Why don't we have any birds that look like this here? I know. <laughs> People drive up and they see her in her enclosure and they're like, you have a penguin? <laughs> yeah, that's what I have. In Paso Robles in 110 degree weather. And then her little teeny red tail. Aww. It's so cute. It's so short. <laughs> it's so short. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Seagull. She's been on um, a bunch of music videos, a couple commercials. I think she steals a bra in one of the commercials. What? Uh -huh. Yeah. It's like a Bud commercial or something. She's in a Shakira video. What the heck? She's a I movie didn't know star. That. Yeah. Do you know who the Suffordinis are? No. Like, have you followed Tony and, and oh, Joe and Tony? Joe and Tony. They um, they do a bunch of movie work with mostly with birds, and then they do a bunch of rehabbing of um, uh, golden eagles. Mm -hmm. And she used to be there. She's a retired movie bird. But they taught her how to fly at a wind tunnel so that they could film her flying. Oh, that's green cool. Screen. It was really Why cool. don't we do, we should do that, like, more it, often. Like, for it training, has, too. Yeah. And just for, like, muscle mass. Right. I was, that's what I was thinking, for conditioning. That yeah. Like, it's like this big, um, they made this big fan with a bunch of baffles on it so that there's no vortex. Mm -hmm. So it's just straight wind coming at them. And you just toss them up. 
while they're flying. Yeah. And they yeah. just sit there and fly in place. It's the coolest thing you've ever That's seen. That's awesome. Yeah. But yeah, it'd be great for rehab, especially if you don't have the space. Right. Hi. Wait, so how old is she then? She's retired. She's like 20, nice. almost 20. Okay. Um, she does lay one egg a year, but this year she, I think she laid an egg because I found a little piece of eggshell in there, but I think she laid it and then ate it, but uh, she doesn't have a boyfriend, so. Chat, these, somebody made a comment about that. These are their travel carriers. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, this is not where they live. <laughs> this is what they travel in. There's a little perch in there. It's like a dog they have crate. AC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're, yeah, that's just what they travel in. And birds feel safer in, in uh, darker, smaller places like that. And you, so. you'll see when she jumps in. Yeah, like, she Everybody's like, ooh, I don't know about them traveling in those little boxes. I'm like, oh, no, they love their boxes. It's like your dog went going into the car. Mm -hmm. I mean, they could be going to the vet. They don't care. Yeah. They get to go on a ride. Yeah. yeah. And what kind of bird is she? We have a, a seagull. <laughs> noisy. A seagull, a noisy one. Um, she's an auger buzzard. And so here's where Disney screwed you over. Buzzards are not vultures. Vultures are vultures. Buzzards are hawks. Um, they are the hawks that. <laughs> right in your ear. Seriously? They're the ones that grab their prey on the ground. So she's an auger buzzard from Africa or an auger red tailed hawk. Same thing as our red tailed hawk, only the African version of it. And, and they look so much cool. Okay, I love red tails, but <laughs> I know. this is the African version of a red tail. Are you kidding? Like, I know. We got like, scammed. Just, just Wow. Look at the little mini <laughs> red tail. See, it's a red tail. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so little. <laughs> but the I know, I'm sorry. Auger buzzards, when they lay their eggs, they usually lay four. Mm -hmm. But they they practice fratricide. So when the first egg is laid, normally birds will wait until the last egg is laid before they start incubating. So they all mm -hmm. hatch about the same time. But augers start laying as soon as the first one's laid. Mm -hmm. So the biggest one, the oldest one, kills all the younger ones so oh. that it ensures its success. Which, in reality... Out That's of a four, great only one's going to survive anyway. Right. But um, because of that, people that breed them, they take three of the eggs uh -huh. and they incubate them and they hand raise them. Wow. Which means they're imprinted, which means she won't breed naturally. Right. But she loves having um, her thighs rubbed. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Oh, no. Yeah, they're Chat, watching you. I can't touch Ori like that, literally ever. I will never be able to touch Ori like that. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's Honk. ridiculous. Honk. She's the funniest bird. You sound like a she's bird. huge too. How much does she weigh? She weighs about sixteen hundred grams, so she's oh my gosh, four pounds. And I mean, this is what cracks me up: the size of the feet. I mean, her feet are chunky, but her toes are tiny and short. Wow. For the size of her body. So, like, yeah. what do you catch with those little yeah, feet? Yeah, they're really, they're really uh, stu stubby. They're looking at you. And this is the craziest part. So, this talon has this razor sharp edge on it. Oh, yeah. What the heck? And that is because this toe is super strong and it'll sink in. But to ensure that this middle one sinks in, toe? it has this razor sharp oh. serrated kind of edge to it. Do other hawks have that? Uh huh. I've never noticed that. You have to kind of like stuff. strum it like a guitar to feel it, but it's. It's crazy. The rest of them don't have it. Wow. Interesting. I've never noticed that. Or if I have, I haven't thought about it. I've just been like, oh, sharper. But <laughs> right. <laughs> or, yeah. Or like a lot of people that don't know about it think it's just something that needs to be trimmed off when you're Right. Clipping. Yeah. And they'll like trim it and then the bird doesn't have as much grip. But We're talking about your feet. She actually grows her beak crooked. Wow. Oh. She has like a little deformity to her beak, so I have to oh. constantly trim it. It sticks out a little bit on that side. Yeah. Can you? I don't know if you can see that chat. Kind of. Sorry, it's like. Look at her. She's like. <laughs> what is perfect. that? No wind muff for you. It's not on there. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so they are puncturing and cutting their food. Yeah. Yeah, and it's if you've ever gotten a piercing before and mm -hmm. you start to feel faint. Our mm -hmm. body's reaction to our body getting pierced mm -hmm. is to release endorphins, yeah. which causes you to relax. So when they puncture, the animal starts to release those endorphins, starts to relax. Yeah. But if they, if they are punctured enough, like when you watch a zebra get caught by lions or something and they uh -huh. get bit by all the other lions, it actually releases so much endorphins that their heart stops Oh, uh huh. because it's a muscle. Yeah. And it's called capture myopathy. So when the oh. lions are eating the zebra, the zebra's feeling no pain. 
it's completely relaxed, mm -hmm. and then it eventually just dies from its heart stopping rather than the lions eating it, which is makes nature not sound so nice, but it is nice. But at yeah, least they're not experiencing yeah, pain. It's nicer. That's what we we capture myopathy. We deal with in rehab a lot. Yeah. It's, oh yeah. It's kind of shitty when you're trying to save something. Yeah. Well, especially with deer. People are like, you can't rehab adult yeah. deer because as soon as you grab them, they, they go die. into it and yeah. they just they just die. Yep. It's sad, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. But it makes sense that they're just so scared they just. But it's the same endorphins that we release when we're getting a massage and you completely relax and fall asleep. So. Um, oh, okay, so this was a question that they didn't put through yet because they weren't sure. But Coca tipped $10 and said, really think what you guys do is awesome. Um, I'm just really interested. What's the point of keeping the screech owl alive if it's almost completely blind? Is it ambassador? Is it an ambassador or what? Yes. Simply an ambassador. There you go. Yep. Thank you for asking. Sorry, we didn't put your donut through because they weren't sure about it, but I appreciate you asking. Yeah. A lot, and that's the same thing with Retta. Like, we don't fly her because she's old and we don't want her to stress herself out. Mm -hmm. um, but she's just an ambassador, and she literally will sit on anybody's glove. Like, I can put her on the gloved hand of, a, like, a three-year-old, and she'll oh just gosh. sit there like... That's cool. Angel child. She does have really short toes. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Shorts. gosh. They're short and stubby. Like, what are you doing? It's like, Sorry. I don't understand oh, no. <laughs> what you can catch with those to feed this fat body. Yes. And she's a pig. Yeah. Like when I go to feed all the birds, she, oh, you yeah, can feel, hear her. Feel her. Fatty bumbleatty. Oh, 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 don't bite. Trauma. Be rude. Yeah. Chunky. Yeah. yeah, cannot feel. feel. <laughs> He's fat. Like, I don't know. You do not touch me like that. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, look. Oh, oh. Fluff it up a little bit. Oh. Is that nice? <laughs> she's like, thanks, mom. That feels good. Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny. Like the feathers are just like and she's black down under there. Does she? Do you just feed her quail, or does she eat? She eats everything. Okay. <laughs> like you throw My anything dad, in quail, there. Rabbit, she, but her pigeon. favorite toy in mm -hmm. the whole wide world is. Um, let me see if I can find one. You know the little plugs in these big plastic barrels. No. Oh, right. like the rubber stops. Yeah, yeah. the rubber. Yeah. Stops. She loves. That's her toy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm she, scared yeah. she'd eat it. She has to have it. So like when I'm cleaning her cage, I have to pull it and give it to her so that she doesn't lose it because it's her favorite. Toy. Wait, this is the bird that like scratched up the poster, right? Yes. yes. That's the weirdest thing. Okay, chat. She she has this poster in her where the bird lives. It's you can explain it better. Banners. It's a banner. Yeah, it's yeah. an old banner that has like pictures of all of our, like all the birds that we used to have on there. Um, and we now use it as like a visual block. She attacks two specific pictures on there, and one of them specifically, she has ripped to shreds. Like a picture of this bird, she does not like. And bird. it's a huge. I mean, it's a pic. It's not the size of a bird. It's no, like it's a like, huge. It's a picture of just her bird. And it's like this big. Yeah, and if you would have asked me, like, can that bird, like, look at that two D banner yeah. and see that it's a bird and like feel aggressive towards it, I'd be like, probably not. But the, there's. Two pictures that are just completely scratched out. Yeah. She's and the just other ones, destroyed. she looks at them, but she doesn't touch them. But the, the <laughs> picture of the ferruginous hawk, like the moment I hung it, she was like, oh, hell no. And her hackles went up and she started attacking it. And then she also attacks the Harris hawk. Yeah. But like the bald eagle, the falcon, all of the rest of them, she doesn't even touch. She's it like, is so those guys can so exist, but just the two other hawks. And she lives next to a bald eagle, and she doesn't yeah. like the bald eagle. Yeah. But she doesn't touch his picture. Mm. So. But she hates the ferruginous. <laughs> okay, with you guys can watch how. Yeah, look how. Her. If you're worried about her not liking her box. Box. Nope, you have Wait, to tuck your wings in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, as you can see, they dive right in. You'll see it with Jack, too. It's comfy, cozy, too. safe in there. It's her spot. I gotta get one of those boxes. All I. Right. Well, I, I transport my bird on like a little, I showed you, I made that little car seat thing, yeah. but it's falling apart. Well, then they poop all over your car. I was using wooden boxes before, oh my god. And they're, they're so, so heavy. They're so heavy. Yeah. Guys, a box, I used to use a wooden box that was this big for my, for Bean, yeah, for the red tail. Like, it's gonna make me mad. Oh my god, okay, that was <laughs> so much lighter than I thought, I was has joking. a four pound bird in it. What the heck? Yeah. They literally like weigh a pound. 
I can't, I lifted her like fast. I'm sorry. I thought it was going to be heavier. That is crazy. Isn't it? Yes. I swear. They're so nice. Nine tenths of the weight is her and the perch. Yeah. Everything else is like, and it comes flat and then it has these cool little connectors that snap together and you just put it together. And then you can put the perch in. Who makes them? Like as high or as low as you yeah. want. Is it just like a falconer that makes them, or is it a company? It's a company. It's a company. Kid named Q donated $10. Yay! Thank you. Kid named Q, thank you for the $10 donation. Come here, Jack. Chat, we're working with the falconry experience right now. They're showing us their birds. You can do Command T F E to get to their website, and you can tip them today if you'd like. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, chat. <laughs> 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 <Feather. laughs> That's your new left. Look at those. Those anklets are really neat too. Did you make those? I did. That's awesome. Because, you know, COVID. Yeah. <laughs> she just sits there braiding all day. I just braiding anklets and just. And she ended they're... up having to have surgery on her hand. Oh, no more braiding. That's right. I braided so much I got arthritis in my hand. So then I had to have surgery and have that bone removed. And then, like, a year later, I'm, now I'm braiding again. Oh, no. But And it feels better. Good. Like, way better than it ever did. Okay. So who is this? This is Jack. Yes. Hello, Jack. So he was named Jack because of his jack-o'-lantern colored eyes. His eyes are so orange. They're so crazy. They're like really and when you get a close-up of the iris, it's like, it almost looks like a bunch of little feathers put together. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, it does. It's crazy. Sorry, I'm really close to your face, Jack. <laughs> he doesn't care. Okay. Hi, handsome. Wow, Halloween bird. Look, Look at those feet. The feet oh, are insane. Gosh. So you can really see that edge on yeah. this one right there. It's really kind of crazy. Like my nails. Oh, the nails of a falconer. Oh, my gosh. Look at this chat. <laughs> Size comparison. <laughs> so they're called eagle owls because their feet are as big and as strong as an eagle. They have 300 pounds per square inch, which is the equivalent of an alligator's jaw or a German shepherd's bite. They can literally break your arm with just the pressure alone. Nice. So, <laughs> thank yeah. God he thinks of me as a tree and not anything else. Otherwise, I would not have an arm left. Um, a lot of people might think it's a great horned owl because that's the owl that you know, but it's not. They're in the same family, or the same genus, but they, um, they're the largest species of owl in the world, which is really, they're not the tallest, the tallest is the great gray, but they just have a lot of bulk to them. And Jack is rather small. He weighs in at about four and a half pounds. Um, a female can weigh as much as 10 pounds, which four and a half doesn't sound like much, but he's somewhere in there. All like, feathers. His legs start <laughs> here. Yeah, their legs are really long. Oh, oh. feathers. <laughs> Everybody's molting. But I love their feathers. They're just... you got? A cork? Oh my gosh, that's a great demonstration. Cool? Chad, do you understand what just happened? <laughs> okay, when you uncork him. So that's how much he's feathers. He's actually not that big of a bird. <laughs> that's that's, that's such a good idea. When you stick your finger in there, you can actually feel yeah. his neck. Yeah. You can feel his Are you going to bite me too? No. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can feel so his, his neck goes down that low. Like yeah. that's the beginning of his neck and then wow. it S curves. And they have 14 vertebrae as opposed to our seven. Yeah, somebody said they turn their head 180 degrees. You want to talk about that? So 180 this way, but 270 this way. So from front, 270, front, 270. So te technically 360 if they start over here and go all the way around. But, um, but it's because they don't have those muscles in their eyes. So they can't use their eyes for focusing or, and they can't turn their eyes. So to compensate. Okay. So let me show you the inside of this here and the back of this eyeball. Oh. Come here. Come here. Hold on, I'm gonna take you off this. Oh, What's your head I always hate it right. when you showed me this, it freaks me out. Uh I can see <laughs> he keeps turning his head oh, but you oh. can kind of see the back of his blowing it. I hate it. Chad, no. you see the back of his eye? 
It's so, yeah. it's so gross because their eyes are so big. So this ear is kind of down and forward and this ear is up and back a little bit. So this one's up here and this one's right there. And that's so that they can triangulate better. And these feathers on their head are attached to nerves that are attached to their eardrum. So they help them pick up vibrations so that they can hear better. So oh, like, cool. so incredibly like designed. the coolest. And yes, we give them pedicures. Big feet, fuzzy feet, fuzzy feet. It's like the and tiniest ear. Warm. And you've had Jack like, oh, tiny foot feather. Even his eyelids have feathers on them. Oh yeah. And these feathers around his beak <laughs> are like cat whiskers because when they drop their head to their feet, they have to close their eyes. So to find their food at their feet, they use those feathers around their beak. I mean, to feel you can for their food. Probably see on Kim better than you can on the other birds. But you guys can see the serrated edge on the feather. I like this. Yeah, there you go. So it helps them fly really quiet. Yeah, so it breaks up the wind pattern. It makes their flight, flight totally silent. That is a special owl thing, chat. Um, you've had Jack like forever, right? We got Jack. No, we got Jack like five years ago. Five oh. years ago. Okay. We've had Sophia forever. Okay. But we got him for Sophia. Yeah. So we could have baby owls. Sophia's she's huge, wanted, chat. And she's always wanted a boyfriend. Yeah, she's twice his size. Yeah. And they hate each other. Sad. But that's okay because now Jack is just an ambassador and he's this chill all the time. It's crazy. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. pretty sure he's not an owl. I'm pretty sure he thinks he's just a dog. He is. And he's just put on this earth to cuddle. Huh, he ain't something. When we let um, clients hold him, mm -hmm. we tell them you have to hug him because he gets offended. <laughs> he does. He'll like, like, if you don't do this with him when they're, when they're holding him, he will get mad and he'll try to fly off. And I'm like, no, you have to, like, love you him. Is him. he imprinted? Yeah, very. Oh, okay. Yes. I was like, that's not he normal. No <laughs> not normal owl behavior. Owl. Okay. It's not, and it's not normal even for imprints. I yeah. He just, he's such a little cuddle bug that it's. What the heck? Sorry. Ignore. <laughs> we were just talking about spam crawls earlier this morning. Oh my god. <clears throat> Apparently, you know, I need a girlfriend and. Um, what? <laughs> they send me this. I have the perfect girl for you. I'm like. Oh, oh no. Um, no, don't. Mm. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> But thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> Cuddle Owl, he's a baby. How old is he? Uh, he was 10 when we got him, so he's like 15. Nice. Do you know what their lifespan is? 30 to 60 years. Really? Yep. Jeez. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. The bigger the owl, the longer they live. Huh. So, like, little screech owls are, like, what, 5 to 7? Yeah. Maybe 10. Yeah. Except for Niles. Except for Niles, who's going to live forever because he's, like he's alive still? Yeah, he's like 20 something. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. What the heck? It's a screech owl like the one we saw earlier, Jeff. Yeah. He's, he's blind and deaf. And... Donated $10. Thank you. Why do these birds not fly around like the hawk did? Oh, there you go. So, owls, contrary to popular belief, are not smart. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say they're dumb. I'm just going to say their their brain is smaller than one of their eyeballs. So um, It's cut it's literally because their eyes are massive, chat. There's no space for brain. There is no space for brain. And they're super rudimentary in their thought process. So they don't generalize. So if you like if you fly them in the same spot every single day and then you take them somewhere else they're like what the hell is going on? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do about this. And if they fly somewhere where they don't know where they are, they will literally just sit down and like, I guess this is my house now. <laughs> so, so if you were to fly on top of one of these really tall buildings, we would have to get a ladder yeah. to get him down. So, and he's super content just doing this. I mean, he flies around in his own enclosure as a nice big enclosure, but other than that, he just, he likes to just Yeah, we'd sit. be having to break all sorts of OSHA violations getting up on the forklift to come get you. <laughs> but you're handsome. But they're cool on a glove. Really cool yeah. on a glove. And he's totally content, like, just sitting. Yeah. 
even though he comes here every day, I think he looks at it in wonder every single time. <laughs> like, oh, is this my new spot? And every time you pick it up, I'm like, are you my new friend? <laughs> like, have I met you before? Yes, yes, Jack, you have. He's so cool. It's really funny, barn owls, because of the way their facial discs are and mm -hmm. the way their nose is so long, Snapchat filters work on them. No way. It yes. identifies them as people. You didn't know that? No. <laughs> We're you can put like little cat ears on, on them. Snapchat filters oh. on our barn owl. Please. Other owls too, though. Hold on, let me see if it'll work on Jack. Chat, we're testing a Snapchat filter <laughs> on Jack. <laughs> if this works, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> Dude, you gotta, you gotta stay looking. Oh. Dude. <laughs> you move your face too much. Real beans. Oh my gosh. It, wait. Did it, it picked up. It did. Come here. Stay. Jack. <laughs> <gasps> it put horns on him. That's so Chad, funny. Chad, did you see it? Oh, now they're on you. Oh, he's too, much. <laughs> too much to look at. You want to see yourself on Snapchat? He's, he's just so cool. So the, cool. This little, I don't know if you can see it, but that little white spot that's on his head is a little piece of wax. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, this but one? They're, yeah, yeah, but they're feathers. When they grow in, they're encased in a waxy substance while they still have blood supply. And that gets groomed off by them. So that little piece of wax is from a new feather that just grew in. Boo. And uh, <laughs> it's blowing away. Nice. But it's really weird. They're, they're like, it's like these tubes. Yeah. And they have a blood supply to them. And, and then they groom all that off. And as soon as the feathers are all the way grown in. Sorry, I'm trying to put you on the, the um, And all the wax is off. Then the blood supply backs out. And then they're just like hair. It's weird. Birds are weird. weird. They are weird. That's so cool. Um, okay, sweet. Uh, chat, again, you can go do command T-F-E to get to their website. There's Stop! One. Oh my gosh! <laughs> their, their Instagram is oh, the underscore falconry underscore experience. If you want to go follow them there, mods, if you could link it, that'd be great. That is so funny. Yeah. Look, she's got eyelashes. I didn't even see the eyelashes! Look, oh my hilarious? gosh! What the heck? Right? I've put like kitty ears on, on her before on, and stuff. Hold on, let me get close enough. Did you goofball? Jack wants love, to get in his spot. We, we have to body spot. block him. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I love my box. Yeah, yeah needless to Thank say, you, space. Happy to travel. All right. Because it's always an adventure. Yeah. Okay. Um. Chat, go follow them on Instagram and on TikTok. Their TikToks are really good, seriously. You should go check them out. Um, and check out their website if you're in, I mean, if you're in Paso, you can come come hang out with them. Yeah. <laughs> um, come fly but with us. Most of, you, most of you are not. Um, thank you for your tips today. I appreciate yeah, it. I know it was a shorter it. stream, um, but I just wanted you guys to see some birds. I like this lady. She's fun. <laughs> <laughs> We have way too much fun. Carry the best job ever. So. It, is. it is pretty sweet. Um, okay. Yes. TikTok. Link their TikTok. Cool. Short stream. Good stream. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about? Want to say before we pack up? Amazing. Come have fun. Come fly birds. Come to California. We Everybody go to California. Fly birds and drink wine. And drink wine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that whole thing. Yep. The wine part, I think, is, you know, just as good. Chat, they come to a beautiful vineyard and fly birds and drink wine with you. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, wings and wine. Wings and wine. Wings Perfect. And wine. Or flights. Oh, any way you want to it. oh my gosh. There's so many puns. Oh, I know. <laughs> Alright, chat, who should I host? I will get ready to end here. I will host Hachu. Hosting Hachu. Or rating Hachu. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will be live tomorrow at the farm for a farm stream. My family's nonprofit. Yeah. Um, Yay. I don't know what time, but 
I'm spending the day at the zoo today. I'm going to make a, a YouTube thing. So you can see zoo animals on YouTube if you'd like, but not on stream. And that's it. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your tips. I appreciate them. I appreciate you guys. And thank you for thank you for doing this. This is cool. Of course. Very fun. Okay. Bye, guys.